So I'm done talking about guessing to figure out your solution. I'm going to talk about a new technique, which is using a generating function to solve a recurrence relation problem. So this is really similar to the Laplace transform. With the Laplace transform, you were able to turn a differential equation problem into an algebra problem, solve the algebra problem, and then use the inverse Laplace transform to get to the differential equation solution. And that was easier than just solving the problem directly. So with a generating function, you can turn a recurrence relation problem into a differential equation, solve the differential equation, and use the generating function to get back to your recurrence relation solution. But realistically, oftentimes, um, it's going to be easier to solve the recurrence relation using a method like guessing or something like that. And so really, it's also very useful to start with a differential equation. You're going to be able to turn those into a recurrence relation, solve the recurrence relation, and then use the generating function to get back to the differential equation solution. I'm going to show the first of those two things in this video, and in the next video I'll use the same example to show how if we started with it as a differential equation, we could go back and use the generating function to solve a recurrence relation, go back to the differential equation solution. So the example I'm going to use is f sub n equals 1 over n times f sub n minus 1. And I'm going to call this equation, my definition here of the, my starting point, I'm going to call it star just so I can reference it later. Um, so this is very similar to the first example I gave where the solution was 1 over n, or was 1 fac n factorial. This one, the solution is going to end up being 1 over n factorial. And this one is solvable using the guess method. And it's much easier to solve it using the guess method. But as I mentioned before, I mean, it's worth looking at these other techniques because the guess method might not always work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a function, uh, f of x. I'm going to say that this is the zeroth term of the sequence plus um, the rest of them, but I'm going to multiply them by uh, x to the n terms, what that looks like. So it's going to be f0 plus f1x plus f2x squared plus f3x cubed, etc. And so the idea is if I can learn something about f of x by just manipulating this, then and what it's going to be realistically is I'm going to find a differential equation in terms of f of x. If I, I can then solve that differential equation, figure out what f of n is. So um, I want to figure out what is f of x. And the tools that I have are differentiation. Um, I can apply star, the equation up here. I can also shift the variable of my series. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply star. So when I do that, what that looks like, and you'll see why I separated out this term at the beginning. This is exactly the same as, oh, whoops, I needed to start this at 1. So if I had started this at 0, this would be exactly the same thing. If I had started this at 0 and left this out, it would be exactly the same thing. You'll see why I did that in a second here. If I apply star, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it not to this first term, but to all of the next terms in the series. So I'm replacing this f of n with 1 over n, f of n minus 1. I've still got the, f, uh, the x to the n term there. And so what this looks like, if you want to see what it looks like, this is f sub 0 plus when I put in 1 here, this is just 1. This is f sub 0 x plus the next one's going to be 1 half f sub, f sub 1 x squared. This is very confusing. Um, so it's going to look like this. Um, so next thing I'm going to do, uh, yeah, so you can notice here that this 
one half kind of lines up with this two exponent, this one third lines up with this. So what I can do is I can just look at, this was f of x, let's differentiate it, let's look at what is f prime of x. So this is going to be, this term is going to go away, that's constant. And I can do a term by term differentiation here just because this is just a long sum of numbers. Um, this is, all of this stuff here is constant, so this exponent is just going to come down, it's going to cancel out this 1 over n, and I'm just going to be left with f sub n minus 1, x to the n minus 1. And if I do a little simplification here, if I replace n with n plus 1, then this is just going to look like the sum from 0 to infinity of f sub n x to the n, which is the exactly the same as this original definition here. So this is, if you wrote it out, this is f0 plus f1x plus f2x squared plus f3x cubed. So this is what we have, this is equal to f of x. So f prime of x is equal to f of x. This is a differential equation. We know the solution. The solution is that f of x is equal to a constant times e to the x. Um, I can write this as a power series. Since I know the Taylor series or Maclaurin series for e to the x, it looks like this. Since I have this constant, I can just pull this inside. This is just going to be c over n factorial x to the n. And so this is f of x. And the idea is that, well, the coefficients of this, this is f of x, the coefficients of this must be the same as what we said the coefficients are up there, which was just f sub n. So this is just f sub n. So in other words, our solution is f sub n is equal to an arbitrary constant over n factorial. And you can find this exact same result by guessing.